Super Bowl 58 is on its way. And if the San Francisco 49ers want to take six, well, they're going to have to stick to these keys to victory. Welcome, everybody, to the Keys to Victory. I'm your host, Wayne Breezy, the Wayne Breezy. Thank you so much for tuning in. All right, you guys can read this article right there below, as you can see on the ticker, www.49erswebzone.com. And we are sponsored by Residency.com. Use the promo code SFBREEZY, and you can save $5 on your total purchase, all right? Let's get right down to the Keys to Victory versus the Chiefs. Look, the Niners... Chiefs rematch Super Bowl 54 and I don't know I don't know how everybody's feeling about it but the San Francisco 49ers look like they're ready for the challenge and the Chiefs you know they're the home team again and the Chiefs look like they're ready for the challenge as well should be a showstopper for sure let's get right down to the keys to victory number one the San Francisco 49ers must must stop the run. Look, I know the run defense has been pretty much shaky, especially in the playoffs. Oh, my gosh, man. They, they, they've given up over 159 yards both games that they played in on average. That's a lot of rushing yards that the Niners are giving up on average. It's kind of crazy. But listen, I think that the San Francisco 49ers defense will be back. I think the mindset to take away the run is there. I think that the defensive line is going to be fresh and, you know, find a way to take advantage of the Kansas City's offensive line. And they got to find a way to take away those angry runs from Isaiah Pacheco. Now, look, expect Clyde uh, Edwards Hilaire to get some play out of the backfield. They might use uh, Kadarius Toney if he plays. They may use McCole Harmon out of the backfield, kind of like in that Debo Samuel role. Those guys are going to get some touches. And I hate to say it, the Jet, (laughs) Jerick McKinnon may play in this game. And if he plays in this game, this is going to open up a whole new can for the San Francisco 49ers to have to deal with. He'll be the freshest running back on their roster. So then the Niners got to come out and take away the run. No missed tackles. They're going to have to get. They're going to have to wrap. They got to play fundamentally sound. Guys are going to have to play their gaps. Uh, those linebackers are going to have, have to come and fill those gaps. And if if the running back, if, if Isaiah Pacheco happens to break a, ta- a tackle or two, it's kind of like who he is. Look. They got to find a way to be more aggressive on that defensive front. So it starts with the front. Linebackers fill those 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 holes, those spaces, those gaps, and take away the run game. Take away the run game, it's going to force Patrick Mahomes to have to throw more. I don't know about you, but I'd rather have Patrick Mahomes throwing the football 85 times trying to win this game, opposed to getting the Kansas City Chiefs run game going. If Isaiah Pacheco, they can hold that rushing attack to under 100 yards, the San Francisco 49ers will find a way, and they will be victorious, all right? Number two, this is harder than it looks. You got to find a way to double Travis Kelsey because if you single Travis Kelsey, he's going to beat no matter who you put on him. Now, I expect the San Francisco 49ers to use to Sean Gibson. I think that is the guy that I want on Travis Kelsey, if you, whether whether he's spying him or whatever. You want him on Travis Kelsey. Now, how they choose to bracket or double, that's going to be on the 49ers. Uh, I think the 49ers are going to play a lot of cover or some form of cover three. Uh, it, it's going to look different out there because Travis Kelsey is a zone buster. Uh, but I'd rather him be in man coverage, and I'll take my chances with the guy manned up on him. And all the Niners need to do is when they do uh, allow Travis Kelsey to get any type of catches or passes, find a way to bring him down, wrap and tackle. Do not allow any explosive plays from Travis Kelsey because that's the inner John Cube for the Kansas City Chiefs. So finding a way to limit him and taking him away from Patrick Mahomes, uh, you know, game plan, that's huge. Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey are in, they're, they're in sync, okay? And they just know where each other is going to go. On a breakdown play, it's going to be tough. So the San Francisco 49ers need to figure out Double this guy, force somebody else to beat you, uh, whether it's outside, whether it's man-to-man, force somebody else other than Travis Kelsey 
to be the playmaker for the Kansas City Chiefs. I'll take my chances on all the other weapons over this guy who's killing it right now uh, in the playoffs. So find a way to limit Travis Kelsey. If you could, if you got to double him, double him. Double him the whole game. Don't let Travis Kelsey explode. Defense, they got a task. Number three. The third thing for the defense, and you can see that a lot of stuff is based around the defense, right? Look, the defense got a tall task. They're playing probably the best quarterback in the NFL and Patrick Mahomes. But you can keep him in the pocket. I think that limits what Patrick Mahomes can do. Now, Patrick Mahomes is a great quarterback. He's the best quarterback in the NFL. And he can still dice you up for the pocket, especially if we give him time. 49ers are going to have to figure out how to generate pressure, whether they're rushing four. But those edges on the outside must contain and keep this young fella inside that pocket. Because if you think Patrick Mahomes won't run, he will run. Now, I'd rather him trying to take his chances and running up the middle, opposed to taking his chances and running outside the pocket and having an edge and getting some, some free yards. Now, the 49ers, all they got to do is find a way to keep this young fella in that pocket. When Travis Kelsey gets outside the pocket, he's almost hard to defend. This guy is, I call him Mr. Extension. Pause. But you get what I'm saying. Like, he can extend the play like no other player. Kind of reminds me of Aaron Rodgers and, like, how he would move and be mobile outside the pocket to kind of, like, free up his vision and give himself a chance with a one-on-one -on -one guy trying to get open. When the plays break down, because plays are going to break down. The San Francisco 49ers secondary does a pretty daggone good job. So when the plays break down, that's when Patrick Mahomes kind of like, like ignites and tries to light the defenses up. And it's probably going to be on a third and long or a big down, big time third play. The Niners got to find a way to be great on third and longs, great on third downs, force Patrick Mahomes to stay in that pocket. And when you get your hands on him, bring his ass down. All right? So keep Patrick Mahomes in the pocket. Let's go to the offensive side. San Francisco 49ers have to run the ball. That should be rule number one through rule number five because I feel like they got five options they could use to run the ball. Let this 49ers offensive line get into some of the run blocking lanes and let them get physical. I say get physical with the Kansas City defense. Kansas City probably has the best defense right now out of the two, but you know that the 49ers defense has so much more potentials, great players. They just have to play up to that potential. Kansas City defense is pretty much locked in, so get physical with them. Find a way to run the ball. Bully ball to them. Bring the ball to them. Bring the physicality to them. I expect Christian Caffrey, I need him to get 30-plus carries. I, I'd say 30 to 35, no more than 35. But listen, Kyle Shanahan can utilize Elijah Mitchell. Kyle Shanahan, and I, and I like that because if you if you treat Elijah Mitchell and Christian McCaffrey almost identical, you have those guys going outside and then possibly doing some inside. On my short downs, short yardage, you can bring in a fresh guy like Jordan P. Mason and let him be physical with that defensive front. He's the guy that's going to get you the short yardage. Now, I know if it's a third in inches or something like that, it's definitely going to be a Brock Purdy sneak. But at the end of the day, I think the San Francisco 49ers must be physical at the line of scrimmage and find a way to run that ball. Expect the 49ers to, to run a lot of 22 personnel. That means that if Kansas City shows up onto the field, they're probably going to have more linebackers out there on the field than they are as far as, you know, secondary pieces. And so, look, I take my, I take that any day. I'll take the 49ers run game over to Kansas City defense and linebackers any day. And the statistics show that the Kansas City defense against out zone, outside zone run are ranked 31st in the NFL out of 32 teams. So, look, 49ers got to go out there and find a way to run the ball inside, and outside number five this is going to stem on the best quarterback in the game brock purdy he's going to have to take what the defense allows okay and i probably spelled the allows wrong so let's go ahead and add and take out a I'll take out an l but he's gonna have to take what the defense allows all right now i want brock purdy to be himself Everybody expects Brock Purdy to be himself, but he doesn't have to go out there and be the man until the time calls. Brock Purdy can be the man, but it's a time thing, right? If Brock Purdy needs to make a play, Brock Purdy will make a play. Other than that, I don't want to see Brock Purdy forcing the ball into double coverage and, to, and behind, the, behind the receivers. 
I don't want you don't want Brock Purdy to have to force things. Have a check down there for him. Let him check it down to whoever his safety net is, and let Brock Purdy continue to find ways to stay in a rhythm for 60 minutes. And I know he's not playing for 60 minutes, but the game totality is 60 minutes. So however long Brock Purdy's on the field. You want Brock Purdy in the rhythm. Now, if the 49ers can get a substantial lead, man, that's going to force Kansas City to play defense a little bit. If they're running the ball effectively, the 49ers, that means they're going to try to play run, and it's going to open up the play-action pass, right? It's going to it's gonna open up these throws down the field for Brock Purdy. So if Brock Purdy just takes what the defense allows, this kid is going to put up astronomical numbers on the ground i'm talking 300 plus yards possibly three tds and 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 it's just going to be a good game for 49ers quarterback form a seventh round draft pick mr irrelevant i call him former mr irrelevant because he's irrelevant right now brock purdy brock you don't have to force anything may the force be with you all right so let's go ahead and recap stop the run first and foremost that's the first ding ding like stop that run right they got to stop it and it's important that the 49ers stop the run number two find a way to limit travis kelsey you could double team him okay it's super duper 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 simple number three keep patrick's behind in the pocket you don't want him jumping around House of Pain style, all right? Number four, run the ball inside and outside, all right? And then number five, take what the defense allows. I'm your boy, Wayne Breezy. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. This is the final keys to victory. I tell you what, we win a Super Bowl, we'll celebrate. Love you guys, man. Stay up, stay faithful always. Don't forget to use that promo code www.residency.com. S F breezy all right you're not gonna want to miss out on that sale that you can get all right man love you guys thanks for watching peace